right, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a rug out of your excess plastic grocery bags. We're gonna be making a rug today out of these. So first of all, I wanna teach you how to cut your bags so that they are easy to use. So first of all, I want you to fold them out like this, make them nice and smooth, and make sure the folds are straight. Then we're gonna fold them over and over to make it easier to you to cut. So basically what we want to do is we want to cut off the messy end and then cut off the bottom so we can create a loop like this. So to make the process go faster, I fold it over so that we can make two simple cuts. Take it out like this and now we've created a tube which we can easily gather up into a loop. Make the process go faster, I like to fold a stack of them and then cut them all at once. So this is my pile of discard. You can use them for something, another craft that you want to use for stuffing or just throw them away like I do. And here's the stack that I already cut and we're ready to begin with. So for this rug, I'm going to be using an Amish knot rug technique. So we're going to be looping three loops together to begin with. And here we go. So to put them together, take the loop through the one, bring its tail through itself, and then pull it tight, creating a chain. And again, Put it through and come through itself and pull it tight. There we go. Now to start it, we have our, our first line to begin the center. And I'm going to be using this color as my worker string. So I'm going to loop that on here as well. So I have my spine string, and then I have my worker string that I attached, just as I did the spine string. And we're gonna take it around to our first loop, and bring it around into itself, around the spine, and pull it as tight as just a finger can fit in there. Just like that. Okay, so it helps to stand on our spine uh, rope, and then we're gonna continue to Go down through that way, the same as I made the first loop, and create loops until we get it to the length that we want the center of the rug. So I added on to my worker rope so I have more to work with. Continue to make loops until you get it the length that you want your center. So now I've made my center the length that I would like it to be to create a rug this size. I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna teach you how to come back around and we're gonna bring our spine, lay it alongside of this, the side that we just, um, we just created this side, the loops on this side. We're gonna come back around on the spine side. In between each loop, we're gonna find the spine and make a creative loop on this side. I'll do the first one for you. And just continue creating our loops. Find the spine in between the loops. And 
continue creating loops the whole length. In between each loop, you're gonna make and create another loop. In between each of the loop on the spine, you're gonna hook it onto the spine. I'm gonna add on here so I have another length. Find the spine in between those two loops. And create another loop. Find the spine between the next two loops. And always add in your spine. Go around both. Notice how this wants to keep twisting. Make sure that your loops stay away from you so that you're always on the same side here. So now I need to add one to my spine, so I'm gonna make that lengthened, and then I'm gonna show you how we go around the corner. So I came to the end of the second side now, and so I'm going to just continue the same process. This time we're gonna go into each loop and create new loops. I'm gonna go back through the same one twice, maybe three times to make sure that we come around the curve real nice. This is my third time in that same loop. Now I'm going to find the next loop. See how that's coming around real nice? It's going to create a nice round curve. This loop I will also go in twice and then each one after that just once. Yeah. You don't want to pull it too tight, but you want it tight enough so it's not loose holes. So now I came down to the end of my third side and I'm going to go several times. I went twice in this loop right here and I'm going to find the next loop on the other side and do twice in that loop as well so that when you come around the corner it doesn't pull funny and make create a basket. And I need to add. You might want I'm going to continue to braid around just like I did um, using one in each loop until I get to the corners 
the round edges, I'm gonna do like two in each until it seems like it's gonna lay nicely. And then continue as large as I want it until I get it the size of this rug right here. And I will show you when I'm almost finished. And then I will show you how to finish it. So I'm just finishing up here with the last couple loops. Now, we want to finish up and we're going to just knot the ends together and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I'm at the last loop here and I'm just going to knot the ends and cut them off. It's as easy as that to finish it. Get it nice and snug and then come in there and just, and I want to maybe do one more knot, just make sure it's good and secure. So now we can use it for an outdoor mat because it's plastic and just spray it off with a hose if it gets dirty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to recycle your used grocery bags.